Your are mistakes that beginners make quite a lot when they are starting out in the field of armies. Looking back at myself, I found things that I wish I knew when I was at the beginning. These things, which I'm sure apply to other artists as well, move me away from creating great visualizations and make my journey much longer. I'm a Gafom Arvis artist and today I'd love to share with you things that I wish I knew when I started. So let's start with the first one, which I'm pretty sure apply to most of beginners. This is probably one of the most important things I wish I knew before. Instead of working on understanding the 3D art, improving my skills in the software, I spent too much time learning on settings. I wanted to know everything, every single option, and find the one, this magic button, that will improve my renders. The thing is that it doesn't exist, and you may look for it for a long time. If you don't understand the way of creating images, settings, doesn't help you much. Sure, they can speed up rendering and help you with a lot of issues. And of course, you need to learn some basics, but spending too much time at the beginning on it, when you don't understand the idea of working in the software, it's just a waste of time. After you know the principles of 3D art, you may develop your setting knowledge. And I recommend doing it this way. If you want to know how to improve quality of your images, watch my video where I share with you 8 steps behind every fabulous image. I put the link in the corner. And I would say that now it's even more updated than it was when I started. Because nowadays, render engines are going towards simplicity of render settings. And you don't have to know much at the beginning. I wish I knew more about art rules. I used to paint in the past, but it was more like a hobby. I didn't know too much about art rules. I just did everything by eye. Knowing the composition rules and using them make my images way better. If you want to know more about composition rules, watch my previous video where I talk about this. I put the link in the corner. Colors are another part of artistic approach. Using white color combinations made my images way better and more balanced. If I knew about color combinations before, I would make the progress much faster. If you want to know more about color combinations, watch my video on this topic. I put the link in the corner. It's really hard especially if you are a beginner, to create something from scratch without any understanding what you are doing. Having references for materials, mood and feeling and styling make the learning process much easier, as it's simply easier to find an issue if you compare your image with something. And as I said in one of my previous videos, our eyes get used to things we're working on really quickly, and it's harder and harder with every minute to see what it's not right. So I wish I used Pinterest or simply Google Gallery search more for references. At the beginning, I had zero knowledge about the cameras. I had never shot with professional camera on manual mode. I didn't understand how it really works. And the thing is that you don't have to shoot to be able to create visualizations. However, it helps you to jump to the next level. As you start to think as a professional photographer, your images will be much better. If you want to know more about camera basics, watch my video on this topic. I put the link in the corner. Not taking chamfers as a big advantage made my images really unrealistic. Shortly speaking, in the real life there is no perfectly sharp edges. Even the sharpest edges are a bit rounded. And chamfer gives you the possibility to create this effect. At the time I was starting out, I didn't realize how big difference it makes. 
I knew that something is not right, but I had no idea what it was. After I found out the chamfer modifier, my renders improved a lot. If you want to know how you can use the chamfer modifier, you may be interested in one of my previous videos. I put the link in the corner. Okay, these are the things I wish I knew at the start. As you're watching this video, you've already got this knowledge and you can make the progress much faster. If you want to get a complete set of skills and be able to make a living working in 3ds Max, check out our brand new course dedicated for beginners. During the course, we'll show you everything from the first time you open 3ds Max all the way up to create your own visualizations. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!